Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Birdo and today we're looking at the Maono AU-HD 300T microphone. We'll go ahead and start with an unboxing and then we'll take a look at what it can do. So let's get started. All right, we have the Maono box right here. Beautiful box, always love their box art. Let's turn it over and here we have a lot of the specs on the mic. Always very informative. Good looking box. All right, let's go ahead and just get this guy open. Lift this up. Pops open just like that. And Maono's always very good about sending these cards. This is just a contact card to let them know that you're happy with it or if you're having any issues. Always appreciate when the company gives you that right off the bat. All right, here we have the instruction manual. We have the user manual right here. It tells you everything that comes in the box. That's a cool function. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, gives you a lot of good information. Let's go ahead and put that down there. All right, let's look at the main event right away. We got the mic right here and beautiful mic. Nice and hefty, does not feel cheap. Good materials, love it. We have the XLR input right there and USB-C on and off switch and volume controls. Just a beautiful looking mic, I love it. All right, let's put that back down here. And here we have the XLR cable input. I personally don't have any devices that I can go into, but you might if you're a musician. Uh, this appears to be a part of the stand. We'll go ahead and put that down there. There's a few more things in there. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's see, what do we have down here? All right, let's, uh, let's start with this. And looks like this is the stabilizer. This is what holds the microphone on the stand. And right over here, it looks like we have the pop filter. Very nice. We'll pull that out in a little bit and put that down here. And here is probably the USB-C cable. Yes, USB-C cable goes into the mic, the other end into your computer. And here it looks like is the bass. A nice heavy bass for your stand. Uh, let's go ahead and start with putting together the stand just to see how it goes. Pretty simple, but I'll go through it. All right, first you wanna take the heavy bass right there. You wanna put this neck on, twist it on just like that. Put that down, that's not gonna go anywhere. Next, you wanna take the stabilizer and twist that right on top, screw it onto a top right there. All right, next you wanna go grab your microphone and we're gonna thread it right through there. So you wanna turn it over the front part of the stabilizer where the microphone is gonna go. Is go right there. You wanna make sure it has that gold tip. Thread this in through the rubber band like stabilizers. Uh, you can go as far in as you like. Just be mindful of the on and off switch. I'm gonna go pretty far in just like that. And that's it. Looks good. Let's go ahead and put on the pop filter so you can see what that looks like. So you take the pop filter, it's got this holder. I didn't show it earlier, it is in the box. And you just want to screw it in just like this. Once that is tight, you wanna make sure it looks like this at this angle. You're gonna thread this into the hole into the stabilizer right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me show you real quick. Right there next to that golden knob where you can twist and tighten it. So you're gonna feed it through there. It's gonna go through that front part. Then it's gonna go through where the knob is. You wanna tighten that. And you can go as far in as you like. You can actually even go further back. There's another hole to hold this, but I'm gonna do this just to keep my face pretty far away from the mic itself. But you can do whatever you like, whatever you feel comfortable with. So as I've done in the past with these type of microphone reviews, the whole voiceover of that last part was done using the AU HD 300T Baono microphone. Uh, and as you can hear, it's pretty nice. Like this is, one of the only microphones that I've had where I literally don't need to do any cleanup. There's like no line as I'm looking at Audacity right now. I can barely see a line when it's quiet. Um, but let me have you listen to some of the raw audio. That way you can kind of see what I'm talking about, okay? 
So this is raw audio from the Maono AUHD 300T microphone. This is just raw audio. No cleanup whatsoever. I think that's pretty impressive. So a few things about this microphone is that it's an XLR microphone, so you can connect it to a different device. I don't have any device that would take the XLR input, um, so I'm using the USB-C. Now, something really cool that this has is that it has, I'm going to turn it and you'll still be able to hear me. It has a headphone jack, and that is so you can connect it through there and you can hear yourself through the microphone. Now that's mainly, I believe, for singers who want to hear themselves because I can still be recording on my computer while listening to myself from the actual microphone, which I think that's pretty cool. And there's no delay at all. It's pretty straightforward. I've had some before where I've tried to do that and you hear double your voice and it's really hard to do anything with that. But um, so if you're a singer, this is gonna be the way to go. Um, so as you can see the setup when I did it earlier, it just has this really simple pop filter on top as a stabilizer. Um, and you can just take it out and use it as a handheld mic if you like, if that's your thing. Uh, if you're practicing singing, anything like that. Really, really good. I'm so incredibly impressed. And the, the quality of it is so, high like it, it none of this feels cheap not the stand not the actual microphone it's it's metal it's not just like flimsy plastic um so highly suggested and if you can hear this i mean i i'm almost i almost don't want to do any cleanup for it i will because i try to be professional and i try to clean things up this is uh, probably one of the highest uh, microphones that i'm going to recommend to you and the price is not ridiculous and the quality is tops like i'm so impressed with this thing i really am so something else that i'll do for you um i did this in one of my other microphone uh review videos i'm not a musician but i'll noodle a little bit just so you can hear how it handles music or an instrument okay so i'm gonna grab my guitar and you can hear it on audacity here we go All right, enough of me playing guitar. The question is, how much is this and where can I get it? Well, you can pick this guy up on Amazon for $69.99. I'll put the link in the description. Wonderful, fantastic price for this high quality mic. So overall, what are my thoughts on this? I think I've already been pretty vocal about it, but we're looking at this super high quality mic. It's got XLR input, USB-C, gives you a lot of options. You can connect your headphones to it so you can hear yourself. That's a wonderful option that you don't get with a lot of mics. And the price is great. I've seen much more expensive mics that don't do as much as this guy does. And the quality is not as great. So I absolutely recommend you get this if you're a singer, musician. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications and we will see you next time.